Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Uh, time for my pseudo cast, and um, I'm on my uh, on my OBS software here. The the software I use uh, for doing these, I kind of tweak things a little bit. Um, I'm I'm kind of I have a this is this uh this pseudo cast is now being done on a separate quote unquote scene. That it's what it's called, but um. But I'm, I'm trying this out, because uh, otherwise I'm having to use my, uh, I think it was my Guild Wars 2 scene, and I'm having to, like, actually turn off overlays and stuff like that in order to, in order to make this work. So I went ahead and, uh, just made a, a totally unique one, just for, just for, uh, pseudo casting. And, um, and as is pretty blatantly obvious here, um, this time around I'm showing, uh, this, I'm showing on Saturn, and I'm gonna be showing some. I'm gonna be playing some uh, Saturn music, and I hope it works. Like I said, this is my. This is uh, I'm trying something totally different. This is a unique setup. Um, and yes, what you're looking at here is the Wikipedia image. Um, I actually didn't have too hard of a time finding the right music, for lack of a better or ambience, ambience. There we go, finding the right ambience for this. It wasn't like yesterday when I was looking for our, our Mars ambience, where a lot of it was just a bunch of bullshit chatter, chatterboxing all through it, and some of it wasn't even actual, wasn't even the actual planet noise at all. It was like ASMR and dark ambient crap. So, but no, um, the one I found here was uh, taken straight from the uh, NASA Voyager. So, NASA Voyager, um. And I, and um, and I'll probably want to address this too. But uh, technically, um, in space there is no sound. Sound doesn't exist. But what what they can do and what these um, what these satellites do is um, they kind of do. It's kind of the equivalent of making uh like digital music, where the the music itself is technically just a bunch of ones and zeros. But um, what it what the um. I don't even know the I don't even know the name of it, but uh, but uh, the way like the uh, the recording software works, it translates all those ones and zeros into music. That's kind of I'm guessing that's kind of how these uh, satellites work. Again, technically there is no sound in space, but what these planets do give off are like electromagnetic electromagnetic vibrations or something like that. I I, I forget the actual name of it, but uh. Whatever, but these satellites will go around, and um, they'll record these sounds, and then they'll translate it, or they'll record these uh, these vibrations. Vibration. Yeah, here it is. Duh. It's looking at me right in the. It's looking at me right in the face. I'm I'm on YouTube right now, but yeah. It, although space is a vacuum. I mean, yeah, space is a vacuum, but sound does exist as electromagnetic vibrations. So, like I said, it's kind of the way digital music works. So that's what these satellites do. They uh, they pick up these electromagnetic vibrations and translate it into sound. So, but anyway, here we go. Okay, that's probably a bit on the loud side. Still sound checking. If you turn it down a little more. Alright. <coughs> oh, and um, I'm also having a can of V8 Energy peach mango flavor. So, yeah, I guess I'll have to turn that down a little tiny bit more. I'm just gonna say close enough. Um, let me uh, but let me let me check this real quick. Nope, not the one I'm wanting. Okay, so you guys should be able to see the cursor on this. Um, one thing I thought was pretty cool 
If you can see this little uh, brown dot down here in the lower left, that's uh, actually one of Saturn's moons. Um, I think it's called Titan. Uh, but I guess uh, Saturn has a whole bunch of moons around it, actually. Uh, I'm guessing some of these moons are actually inside these rings. At least that's what I'm guessing. I'm also guessing that these little tiny white dots that you're seeing are also moons. But uh, that, that, I, that's what I'm guessing, though. But anyway, I got a, I do have a fair amount of stuff to talk about, though. But anyway, I do have a fair amount of stuff to talk about. Um, last night, um, I watched some more of that uh, Nosferatu movie. It's a silent movie. I started watching it yesterday. I'm I'm still liking it. Uh, and it also it also kind of occurred to me the way they the way they do the color. I'm also assuming that this isn't some kind of modern day restoration technique or something. But uh, I kind of like the way they do the color. It's really neat. Like uh, it'll it's like they're putting like like different colored lenses in front of the camera or something because it'll be like it'll be brown for like daytime um it'll be like it'll be purple or blue for like nighttime like but it's kind of it's kind of cool how they do it though i think uh one time it was like uh there was a scene on the beach a scene on the beach and there was like some gray stones there too it had this really sickly green look it had this really sickly green color so I thought I thought that was a pretty neat way to neat way to do that, and um, plus something else something else that occurred to me I actually wrote this down on my blog post as well, but I'll go ahead and say it here, um, very little dialogue. This is probably one thing I definitely like about silent movies is because they're silent. Um, and this is also along the same lines as why uh Wally, you know you know the Pixar show Wally that one. It's also one of my favorite shows, too, because there's very, very little dialogue in it. You know, sometimes I would rather just see than hear. And this is especially, and especially bad with a lot of these movies that I've watched. Um, I haven't technically watched any, but Michael Bay comes to mind. I've seen a few of his movies being done on CinemaSins. And I've heard some of the shit they say on there. It's, it's just, no, no, I do not want to watch this. But, I mean, I'm really really bad dialogue and or excessive dialogue where it's just constant jabber john it can really bog down what was what could have been a great movie so but again this is one of the reasons again this is one of the things that struck me about Nosferatu the most you're going to see is like a like a cue card statement or something I don't know I don't know the technical name for it but well it's not showing here that it's too loud Coming in a bit loud on my headphones, though. But, but yeah, like like I said, um, although to be fair, though, I said this yesterday, but uh, that uh, organ player was one hardworking motherfucker, man. I mean, it's like the entire ninety minutes of the movie, you hear there's a guy playing an organ. I mean, I'm pretty sure the uh, this guy probably has it a lot harder than damn actors. And since it's a silent movie, they're not actually speaking any dialogue, maybe voicing some of the lines or something like, Oh my God, or something like that. But that's about it. Uh, but the acting in these silent movies, it's all somatic. It's, you know, just gesturing and expressions. So I have a hard time believing that they they did all these scenes in more than one take. So, I mean, you know, go in... Go in and do your moving around and then call it good. I mean, no, it's in the can, close enough. But this orca player, man, he, he was really busting his ass like the entire the entire length of the movie, like nonstop. Actors probably just do their scene and they go sit in their trailer for God knows how long until they're until they get the call to go back in again, and that's it. So, but um, to be fair though, this organ now is starting to get annoying. I mean, when I when I first started watching a movie yesterday, I found it to, I found it to be kind of, I mean, kind of cool as hell that, you know, this organ was going all the way through it. But now it's just, like I said, it's getting annoying. So. Oh, and, um, I, I, um, I started watching this, uh, 
I started watching this comedian named Duck Stanhope. He's uh, one of my favorite comedians. I guess uh, I guess he's got a new special out that came out like a year ago. Um, I just I started watching it. Oh, it's called uh, Dying uh, the Dying of a Last Breed. But yeah, I, I love I freaking love how he mentions Donald Trump. Like he refers to him as that guy or that man. Like he refuses to say his name. I thought that was pretty cool because I'm pretty sure just about every other comedian, every other form of media out there, it's Trump, 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 Trump this, Trump that, Trump the other, Trump, yeah, Trump's in this, Trump this, Trump that, Trump, you know, I mean, the name just Trump, 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 all over the freaking place. Now it's just ad nauseum. It's like, it causes this, you know, massive clockwork orange build up to where the moment I hear Trump, oh, no, not this shit again. Like, it's just, I'm just averse to hearing the name now. So, good on Doug for doing this. But. But yeah, I think the, the, the subtle hint there, I think um, Doug, like a lot of other people, myself included, we are sick of just hearing Donald Trump everywhere. And, um, and uh, I don't, and uh, back when Obama was president, I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm kind of having to rack my brain here. I mean, it's been years, plus I'm not, despite some of the things you might have heard me say over these past casts, I'm really not that political of a person. So, I don't really keep up. I don't, and I don't really call, really recall Obama being all over the place. As far as I know, I don't think he ever used Twitter, and I don't, I don't think he ever used social media. So there, I didn't really hear about him that much, not compared to Trump. I mean, the guy's like, I've got a really strong media, you know, uh, social media presence. In fact, now that I think about it, one of my favorite YouTubers, Emperor Lemon, he actually did a, he actually did a video on this. How, um, I forgot what, like, Donald Trump and the art of the meme. Like how how a presidential candidate used memes to become president or something like that. I don't know the actual title, but yeah, Emperor Lemon actually did a video on this. Like this is probably this is one of uh, Trump's biggest this is one of Trump's biggest methods of becoming president is using memes. And, and yeah, there I there I go saying the name now. I mean, it's some, that's a name I really need to start weaning myself off of, too. You know, start calling him him, or... Bill Maher called him, like, the orange or something. I don't remember what it was. The orange asshole or something. I don't, I don't remember what it was. The orange prick or something. I don't remember, but... But yeah, it, but yeah, anyway. Emperor Lemon had a video on that, so... I might have to give that video another watch. I think I watched like part of it a long time ago, but totally forgot what was on it. So, and on top of that, I also watched another. Um, anyone notice I've been doing a bit of binge watching? <laughs> oh, and uh, I also watched uh, episode eleven of uh, Dragon Ball. Um, the title of it, I thought. I thought that was very intriguing. Um, like called the penalty is pinball. I thought like maybe, maybe the good guys were gonna get punished by being forced to play a pinball machine or something like that. I'm like, what? Oh, this is interesting. So, I started watching. It turned out to be not like that at all. Just all the good guys are being chased around, chased around this cave or this labyrinth by a pinball. And for the um, and for the previous two um, kind of a spoiler here, so give everybody a heads up. But for the previous two episodes, there was no, there was nothing uh, pedo or perverted in the last two episodes. Well, there went well in this episode here. There went the streak. Okay, yeah, they're um, they were showing uh Bulma, they were showing Bulma like flipping the bird and stuff, the middle finger. Oh, all of this in a rated PG kids show, by the way. But she was uh. She was giving the main bad guy the middle finger, and and then um, I guess uh, 
I think they got hit with sleeping gas and Yamcha, I think his name is. He's like super shy around girls. Well, apparently they woke up with like Bulma's boobs right in his face and they actually showed the cleavage and everything and it showed it showed Yamcha. His eyes are like big as biscuits and all that, so So, like I said, there what streak. So but but there's that. And um and also I I should also mention too, even offline I'm still playing uh Slay the Spire. So I don't I don't know what the hell I don't know what the hell cost me to do this, but I mean a couple nights ago, I just uh started playing Slay the Spire. Well, for those that don't sorry, for those that don't know what Slay the Spire is, it's a I think it I believe it's one of the first deck building RPGs. It there's like a Magic the Gathering aspect to it. You know, you you know you build you know you build your deck, you you go to as the name implies, slay the spire, you have to kill monsters. Oh, excuse me. You have to go kill monsters and stuff. And you do it with you do it with cards that do various things, so and you pick more up, you pick more car, more cards up on the way. And you can get buffs and nurse, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, but like I said, um, I I originally played this game a few days ago, just totally out of lark, just for the hell of it. I it's not not it's like I can't get enough of the damn game. I don't I don't know what the hell happened because up be, uh, before a few days ago, I played it fairly often, like a few years ago. But at some point, I just lost interest in playing the game. I don't remember the reason behind it. But at some point, I just said, ah, fuck it. I, like, I tapped out for some reason and hadn't played it up until, again, a few days ago. So, I mean, I, I kind of want to get back into playing Dragon Ball Fighters again. But at the same time, I don't want to force myself to play something that I don't want to play. I mean, and... and I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I'm pretty much going to be repeating myself here. So, just for those that have never seen any of my other casts before, this is mainly for you. Um, but I haven't, I haven't played, uh, I haven't played, or let me, let me move back a little bit. I haven't consistently played a fighting game in about 30 years. And I've, re I've recently taken up playing them now. So, I got a whole lot of catching up to do. Um... To be sure, they're not my favorite video game genre. But, again, I haven't played any of these in, like, a very long time. So, again, I got back into them. So, this is mainly for reasons of catching up. Just seeing what I missed, I guess. But, um, currently, I'm I'm playing Dragon Ball Fighters. But this is after for me, uh, this is after me trying out a bunch of other different fighting games. So... It ain't my first rodeo. But again, just all of a sudden, just I got bit by the Slay the Spire bug. So. But. And let me look at something real quick. How long does this go? Oh, this is like a 30 minute, a 30 minute video. Okay. I didn't know that. I figured it would have ended by now. I thought this was like a like it like uh the Mars like uh yesterday's Mars. I think I had to find something that was like a minute, minute and a half, and I just had to set it to loop mode. Looks like hopefully I won't have to do it with this one. <clears throat> oh, and also, um I watched um uh, another one of my favorite YouTube channels. It's called Analyzing Evil. Um, I think his name is uh, the Evil Eye. I think that's his name. Uh, but he just he does he does uh, he does analysis on various villains like like the Joker. Um, I forget his name, but he was the main bad guy on the movie No Country for Old Men. Like he runs around and like shoots people with like a like an air compressed air compressed darts or something. I don't I don't know the name of the weapon. I don't know exactly what kind of weapon it is, but it's 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 the famous coin toss scene when he's in that little convenience store. Yeah, that one. 
Well, yeah, he, he did analysis on him. Well, his latest episode, Walter White of Breaking Bad fame, um, started watching it, and this is probably... I haven't watched all of it, but I think this is probably the only episode I can think of where I've watched almost the entire episode. Whereas most other, most of these other Analyzing Evil episodes, I go through maybe like maybe the first five, ten minutes of it, and that's it. I think I've pretty much learned everything I wanted to know about them. But not not this one. Um, I, I, I plan on do, and I believe, excuse me, and I do plan on uh, watching the rest of this episode. Um, I have tried, I have tried watching Breaking Bad, but um, I've. I've, I might have said this in one of my other casts, but I freaking love the concept. The concept of the the concept and the plot and all that is freaking genius. Execution, I I don't want to say bad. I don't want to say terrible, but like a lot of other movies and like a lot of other TV shows throughout my life, I can't get through maybe like the first episode or two, and after that, I just end up losing interest. But like I said, this isn't anything unique. You know, and like I said, a lot of other... It's like I... It's almost like I learned everything I wanted to learn just from that, those first first episode or two. And like, that was all I needed. I, That's the best way I can explain it right at, as of this moment. But like I said, it's a, it's an issue I seem to have. Like, like I said, sorry to sound like a broken record, but... Some of the things I've watched over the years, I mean, the the concepts they, the concepts behind them are just freaking brilliant. But the thing of it is, is I, the execution. Of course, it could it could be from my end too. That I can't I can't watch any more than like maybe an episode or two, and after that I've lost interest. Even now that I think about it, even my all time favorite TV show. Yes. I'm actually serious about this, the Golden Girls. You know, the show about four old ladies. You know, yeah, that's my all-time favorite TV show. And even then, I, I only watched maybe like, like maybe like, I want to say half of the first season, and that was it. I pretty much tapped out and don't really care to watch anymore. Um... Aside from me, uh, you know, watching a few episodes here and there in my younger years. But, I mean, aside from that, haven't really cared to watch anymore. So, but again, the only reason I can think of why I'm like this, it's like, it's, I'm, I've got a mind that likes to fill in the blanks. So, I'm not, I'm not strictly anti-spoiler or anything, but I think that's why I'm like this. I mean, it, I mean, a lot of, you know, a lot of other shows and movies and whatnot. I only really care to, I watch maybe like the first few episodes and, and then I just, I don't really care to watch anymore. But I might, uh, after, but again, like I was trying to say a few minutes ago, like, um, maybe, uh, maybe I should go ahead and buy or rent maybe a few more episodes of season one of Breaking Bad. You know, maybe there might have been something I missed. Maybe I'll have another Slay the Spire episode. It might maybe maybe I just can't I just can't stop watching these now. Maybe that'll happen, but we'll see. We'll see. But. but um but otherwise, yeah. Um I think that's I think that's it. I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so, and we're a little bit past my 15-minute cutoff, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, well, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and hopefully I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, and I believe uh, tomorrow, the um, I want to say the next planet tomorrow is going to be uh, Uranus. And oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a tough one to do right there. <laughs> you said Uranus. 
<laughs> no, I say you're no, I say Uranus, not because of the innuendo, but because I'd rather say that than Uranus. I mean, kind of a side note, you know, I'm not a. I mean, you know, if, if I had to choose between saying something like "God fucking damn it" and "Well, gosh darn it all the heck," I'm going with the first one. I mean, despite the fact that uh. I don't, I curse, but I try not to curse like a sailor. I still, I, I would still rather say, God fucking damn it, than to say, well, gosh, golly darn it, golly gee darn. I mean, no, 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 that, no, I'll, I will go with option A. But, but again, I believe um, my next cast is probably going to be a Uranus as the next planet. So, but until then, though, everybody, bye for now.